Lawrence told me to accommodate you in any way possible. Really? Okay. I reviewed Dr. Lanning's psych profile. Alfred had become a recluse. He rejected human contact from machines. So you're a shrink, huh? My ex-wife would sure be glad I'm talking to you. You don't know her, do you? I'm sorry, are you being funny? I guess not. So would you say that Dr. Lanning was suicidal? It would seem the answer to that question is apparent. That's not what I asked you. No, I wouldn't have thought so. But obviously I was wrong. That's a long way down. You people sure do clean up quickly around here. I can't blame you, though. I mean, who wants some old guy going bad in the lobby? He was not some old guy. Alfred Lanning was everything here. We are on the eve of the largest robotic distribution in history. By Saturday, there will be one robot to every five humans. These robots are the realization of a dream. Dr. Lanning's dream. You know what? In that dream of his, I bet you he wasn't dead. You keep 24-hour surveillance? Obviously. Company policy. Where are the feeds? Sensor strips. Everywhere but the service areas. They link to our positronic operating core. Wow. Thermostat wasn't good enough. You went and gave a building a brain. She was actually Lanning's first creation. She. That's a she. Definitely need to get out more. Virtual Interactive Kinetic Intelligence. Vicky. Good day. Vicky designed most of Chicago's protective systems. I have decreased traffic fatalities by 9% this year alone. Ooh, thanks. Show me inside the lab from one minute prior to the window break. Apologies. There appears to be data corruption. Show me outside the lab from the window break until now. Wow, look, you have great posture. You said you stand really straight. I'm, I'm slouching. Would you like to go inside now? Oh, sure. Right after you. <laughs> 